There's only one decision. There's only one decision. There's only one decision. Can I have my guest, can I my next speaker? Is somebody who had the privilege to be an MP in the South African Parliament and worked alongside Nelson Mandela. So he has an illustrious past. He has a magnificent present as an activist against war. And I hope that he's going to have an equally illustrious future because he's standing against Keir Starmer in the next general election. Please welcome Andrew Feinstein. Thank you very much and thank you for all being here. For the past 23 years, I've investigated, researched and written about the global arms trade. And all of that work was dependent on whistleblowers and sources. When Julian Assange created WikiLeaks and revealed overwhelming evidence of war crimes committed by the United States and other Western governments, he changed the game. And that's why he's in the situation that he is in. Because the information that he has put into the public domain threatens the imperialism, the warmongering, and the brutality of our own governments. But in addition to that, it's important to understand that what Julian has done has threatened the very basis of our politics, which is secrecy and corruption. The global arms trade accounts for 40% of all corruption in all world trade. And much of that corruption doesn't only go to the key political players in Saudi Arabia or Israel, or other countries around the world. Some of that corruption returns into our political system. And it funds our two major parties, and it funds our politicians like Tony Blair, who have made themselves, who have made themselves multi, multi-millionaires through selling corrupt arms deals around the, around the world and associating with British and American defense companies and the most autocratic, undemocratic regimes on the planet. And the reality is that Julian Assange is a threat to all of that. It is a threat to the way in which our tax pounds are illegitimately used to continue to commit genocide in Gaza, to continue to violate international humanitarian law in Yemen and other parts of the world. So the reality is today, and until he is free, we are all Julian Assange. And if they continue to, si to silence Julian, we will be his voice. So we say to those judges today, we say to the governments of Britain and the United States of America, free the truth, free Julian Assange. 